What's up everybody, it's Joshua Casper, welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial and uh, today I'm just going to be talking about groups. Uh, groups are new to Ableton Live 8, so if you have anything below you won't have this pretty sweet feature. But anyway, um, groups are important because when you're getting into a track and you've got, I don't know, some tracks have 20 or more actual tracks and some pieces of music rather have over 25 tracks inside of them. So if, if you're doing that, you have to use a scroll bar over here and you know, that takes a long time. But if I group my tracks together, boom, boom, boom. As you can see, uh, it's really neat and tidy. So now if I want to deal with my bass, I can just expand my bass group and deal with my bass loops or my bass track rather than having to scroll through and find them. Um, just a quick note, I label my groups in all caps because when you export, you can export the mix down of just the group instead of um, all tracks would be all tracks including groups. If I wanted the bass group mixed down, I could do that. My drums mixed down, synth group mixed down, FX and buzz and buzz and blah. But if you uh, export or render all tracks, you'll get all tracks. So you'll get the master mixed down, you'll get the group mixed down, and then you'll get your individual stems from the groups. Um, and if you don't know how, Control T will give you a new track. And now that I have these tracks, I can click one, hold down shift, click the other, right click, and hit group tracks to actually get a group. And then you rename those appropriately. You can also group tracks, you can also group MIDI tracks or audio tracks. Control Shift T will give you a MIDI track. See that? Um, and if you right click, you can color. You know, just, just cool things to do to label uh, your new stuff. Um, and another cool thing about groups is now that I have my mix done and I want to kind of get my audio loud or get the volume up, I can come over to here and instead of having lots and lots, um, I know that my drum mix is good, my synth mix is good, and my effects mix is good, and my bass is good. I can right click, I mean click, and then hold down shift and click all of these to select them all, and now I can adjust all the volumes here. And this cool little thing right here will show me how close to zero I'm getting. So if we go ahead and play this track. So right now I'm getting to negative 1.7 and if I wanted to I come in and click here and like I said shift and click but now I'm gonna play and I'm gonna pull up all my tracks at once until I get it close to zero without going into the red. Ready? And you can see that it lights up, it highlights, and this tells me that I've gone into the red and, you know, red you're dead. <laughs> but anyway, so I want to bring it down a little bit. And you do that until you get the mix right. Um, and if it goes red or you want to reset, all you have to do is click it. And you can also do that for any of these tracks. And this is, I use this all the time because uh, you know I don't like to send all my tracks out to get mastered, but I like them all to be, you know, as mastered as can be via Ableton and my skills. So this is a great tool. Anyway, that's uh, just some notes on groups. Uh, I hope you had fun. See you next time.